International College of Business and Technology, uh, popularly known as uh, ICBD campus, is uh, the leading higher education provider, private higher education provider in Sri Lanka. We are very proud of our history of 24 years now being the leading higher education provider in the private sector in Sri Lanka. And uh, we work with a uh, uh, number of international university partners, which includes uh, uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University in UK, University of Sunderland and Liverpool John Moores University in UK as well. And we work with various awarding bodies. And we are a registered private university approved by the, the, the Ministry of Education in Sri Lanka. And ICBT campus is again listed as a member of the Association of Commonwealth Universities. Therefore, all the degree programs that are introduced by ICBT as ICBT degrees are recognized worldwide as a member of Commonwealth University degrees. Uh, recently, we introduced a number of uh, degree programs with the approval of um, Ministry of Higher Education in Sri Lanka. These degree programs mainly in the IT sector are developed to, um, to accommodate or to fulfill the requirements or the needs of the emerging job market, especially in the IT sector, um, so that our students who go through these programs get uh, in a very advantageous position to excel in IT careers in the future. So these programs if I name these programs, um, these are BSc Honours in Software Engineering, BSc Honours in IT, in Data Science, BSc Honours in Artificial Intelligence, uh, that is BSc Honours in IT, in IT, Artificial Intelligence, and BSc Honours in IT, in Cyber Security. Uh, we thought of introducing these programs especially by looking at the job market, not just here in Sri Lanka, but worldwide, looking at the most highly paid jobs that will be there within three or four years uh, worldwide. So we are preparing our students for these jobs through these degree programs. Today, I have uh, two special guests with me to talk about these degree programs. Let me introduce these guests. Um, first of all, we have uh, Professor Samir Dialvis, on my right here, who is a uh, cyber security intelligence uh, expert and a cyber security professor uh, and expert in many, many things like Unix, counter cyber security terrorism and uh, cyber forensics as well. And, um, and he's an expert in, in many things, including reverse engineering as well. He's author of a number of books. And on my left, I have Mr. Jude Roy Ian Smith. Thank you for joining. Uh, Mr. Jude is uh, uh, the principal data scientist and manages a team of uh, uh, data scientists at PICME. And uh, he has a BSc in engineering and MSc in data science and currently pursuing a PhD in artificial intelligence. So I, will, I would like to, first of all, um, go to Mr. Jude, and uh, would you like to explain a little bit about our software engineering program and the potential the students will get through, uh, through this program? Okay. Yeah. So, first of all, now when it comes to uh, software engineering, okay, so in the industry, basically what we are expecting from a software engineer is mostly the expertise where you can get the work done. So, we expect the uh, theory as well as the hands-on experience. So the biggest thing I see the most capable students we get from uh, these programs are so they are good with theory as well as the experience. For example, if I take two examples, so if you take a software like a stock exchange, okay, so a simple code you write in a stock exchange program might affect an entire economy of a country. So if I take another example, like a product like Pikmin, so simple code might affect a person on the road. So it may be your parent, so it may be your friends. So that responsibility is there within any single code line you write. So 
the students we create out of these programs will have those you know capabilities to take that challenge okay and write a responsible code because now at the moment writing a code is now a bit simple in the air but here the biggest thing i see is the students go through these programs they know how to write a code in a way where it will do a big impact in a proper way okay not just a simple code it's a proper code with the code standards and you get the work done as per the script okay so that's the um, thing i see and that's the most important thing we see check in the industry to say at the, in the industry what we want is to get something done within a given time okay so if the student is more into theory again so the good thing and if the person may, doesn't have much of a theory background still it it won't affect Uh, you know, it won't be a good thing in the industry. So, what we want is a balance between hands-on as well as in the uh, theoretical. So, in the uh, program, the content based on the content. So, we see students coming out where you have the proper knowledge as well as with the proper hands-on expertise, which the industry wants. As you all know, IT industry is highly paid uh, industry. so there are plenty of uh, opportunities we have so much uh, you know demand and highest uh, demand for IT industry so in the it industry so when you see the software side it's not only about software engineering so there are devops so there are system engineering so not only about writing code so you may be an expert on you know managing systems so it's not just writing a program so you may optimize in certain uh, uh, resources so you have the opportunity to go to okay you can be a software developer so normally known as sometimes people call developer not the engineer okay it can be a developer it can be a system engineer so what you do is once the software engineer writes a code you deploy it you are the one who's actually making sure the software runs in a hardware okay so it's not only about writing code so making sure code runs on a given hardware so that's where these programs are really good that uh, based on my view. okay thank you i think what you mean is uh, students who go through this program uh, especially this software engineering degree uh, the opportunities exist not just as software developers or programmers but as well as for deployment specialists and many other job opportunities are there for students um, who go through this program and the other thing is i think what you mentioned is uh, uh, this program has an integrated industry placement as well which is which we send all these students compulsory into a software company and through that uh, they get the right balance between the theoretical knowledge and and they have a project as well so project number of projects and they get the right balance between the theoretical knowledge the practical experience as well as the industry exposure right so thank you for that i'll come back to you for the for the next uh, question but before that i'd like to go to a uh, professor samira uh could you tell us a little bit as being expert in cyber security and you have a very high profile and uh, you know vast experience in cyber security and uh, cyber forensics what do you think about the cyber security program uh, that we offer but when it comes to uh, the cyber security is like you know there is some massive uh, arena in the in the background of the world so because uh, there are so many incidents you know cyber incidents because we all connected by the cyber right when the the whole world like you know wired with the cyber aspects right so we all exposed into many bad people they have bad intention bad everything because that's a way it's like you know the engineer for the good thing but for the sake like you know of the humanity but people use it as bad uh, you know vibe like you know so they have the bad vibes so they, they they definitely do the bad things to many industry like you know related like you know the things and so many organization in the world not in sri lanka right not in even sri lanka sri lanka many organizations have been hacked and data leaked and so many bad experience like you know we have for the you know last like you know bygone years right so uh, in the world wide perspective like you know this thing is like you know more vital uh, especially the government organization not in like you know most of sri lanka right you know but the other countries like the like us government but highly targeted right highly targeted by many other governments as well not only the hackers like the government as well this government they are they are all like you know having uh, 
with a cold war kind of like cold war scenarios so in this time like you know in uh, when it comes to like the us market so we are tried like you know the make the people from sri lanka like you know kind of small country to try to like you know make the uh, experts like you know out of like you know this type of uh, specific very specific for you know program right we we'll try to like you know train them to the core at the bottom of like you know things in cyber right we we'll try to like you know give them the aspect and the essence of cyber, what cyber security is right so because there are so many threats so many involvement bad involvement so many things like you know, i'm not actually you know sharing like in my knowledge like in a very 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 deep aspect on that because we have a very limited uh, you know time frame so overall like you know when it comes to like you know these things the whole world is exposed into the bad words right so bad things bad everything so which means that trillions of dollars like you know lost in like you know this vanishing in a second that right? is already done and it's happening so what us government when it comes to us and uk and all these like you know government they open up a lot of carriers a lot of carriers in cyber security but the problem is we uh, they don't have uh, you know sufficient the cyber security experts in the field the certified and well trained and well uh, you know knowledgeable people it's very less so i i think like you know throughout this like you know the specific course right in cyber security i think like in the uh, will will we have the foundation to make them aware and have like you know very good uh, fit building block into the world's need right so that's actually our target is not making the people uh, not i'm not saying like to not to this country but more of that right the future is big in cyber right it's a trending scenario and highly paid highly means extremely paid right extremely paid when it comes to like you know the big you know giant companies like cisco microsoft and so many tech companies are looking right even in the industry as well as like you know the government is looking for even white house is looking for 60000 people you know per year right cyber security experts but the problem is they only found right you know based on the statistics like you know it's only like 25000 people the rest of the you know the gap is yet to be filled right so i think like you know okay, now with this like you know you know uh, amazing program right i feel that uh, our students have the foundation aspect you know to the whole skyscraper of cyber so i think like you know that's a awesome program and i wish you all the best for this exam right you know so the and and all this like you know the programs and all those things i think like you know we may, we may can produce number of sri lankans and make them you know make ourselves proud out of these programs mm-hmm. thank you professor i think i think that was our objective as well when we when we designed this program i'm sure uh, we got a lot of feedback from the industry professionals like you and the academics uh, not just here in sri lanka but abroad as well to design this program and uh, i'm happy to see that your opinion is is the same because we wanted to produce through this program cyber security experts that can you know can, can enter into ready made job markets not just here in sri lanka but worldwide so uh, i think that's a really good aspect of the program thank you for that and uh, coming back to mr roy, uh, roy uh, you know we have two other programs that we haven't discussed yet that is one is data science the other one is uh, artificial intelligence both are bsc honors degrees be an expert in both ai and data science what are your comments about these two programs so the best thing i see in these two programs are those are tailor made for the you see ai is it has become buzzword now everybody is talking about ai so we are in a in an era where ai is changing in the industry so the biggest question people have is okay will ai change our you know replace our job so if you see the industry experts what they are saying is ai won't replace your job but a person who knows how to use ai will be placed so when you see these programs the students will be making out of these programs they will know how to use ai and how to create such program so <clears throat> the ai industry okay, in the data science i would say so in data science it's not a small industry it's a very wide industry if you see jobs like <clears throat> you can become an ai engineer so you can become an ml engineer 
you can become a data analyst <coughs> you can become a bi engineer you can become a data scientist okay so there are, there's a you know variety of jobs you can you know land in data science industry so in these programs what we do is we don't make a specific student so we make students there you can land on any of these so you have the expertise to become a bi so if you want okay, if you want to create you know visualize a nice visualizations where everybody will you know rely on them and take managerial decisions or else if you are you like no i i like coding so i'm kind of code developer so you can become a data scientist or ai engineer ml engineer so you develop machine learning models so the machine learning model is pretty okay what could be the future outcome so you will create you know uh, forecasting models okay and if you are being in data analyst okay you don't want to create you know visualization no that much of coding you can be a data analyst so you crunch data so you come up with various you know uh, stories out of the data so every data has a story now in this era data is the gold now every company is so what happened was companies uh, storing data now only they have realized okay we had the goal we should use it so there's a huge demand uh, from the industry what i see is we don't have the supply supply in the sense from the students we don't see most of the programs what i have seen is they are kind of general and you know in the, the uh, final year you specialize but in these programs we start from the very beginning and we tailor made the student to become a data science expert and here we have two programs ai and the data science so ai is specially tailor made to students to be in the ai field right so you create uh, proper models and the other thing i see so in the industry so even if you become a data scientist you'll be writing code at the end so you got to write a code to create machine learning models okay but here the speciality is you create students they will know how to write codes at the same time they will know how to write proper code mm. so code and a proper code has a difference so they will have that soft tax but is as well at the same time they are tailor made for data science so when you have both so you will you know easily have one step ahead with all the other candidates with these programs with these uh, uh, modules in the industry because in the industry at end of the day what we what the industry wants is people who knows both sides okay and you can write better codes this industry doesn't want to you know spend money on lame codes so you want to get things done uh, at a given time period with the high school so the students will be tailor made to everything with the software skills and specialize in ai so in the you know in nowadays we have plenty of ai opportunities if you see uh, linkedin and all the uh, places you have so much of uh, data science jobs highly paid highly paid as the other uh, software industry but what we are doing is bit different than a software engineer so you are writing a predictive model so you are what we are doing is you are trying to forecast what will happen so based on your decisions it will not be a deterministic so you are trying to see predict what is going to happen so the gravity of the code you write will have more uh, value because a company might be depending on your decision because if the company doesn't know what will happen you are telling okay this is what's going to happen so that level of confidence students will be making out uh, with these uh, programs okay right thank you uh, i think today we looked at uh, you know the the potential and of uh, the four degrees that we discussed uh, uh, bsc in software engineering bsc all honors degrees bsc in it in data science bsc in it in artificial intelligence and bsc in it in cyber security and i like to thank uh, both of you professor samir and mr jude for joining today and uh, giving us uh, an overview and you are sharing your expertise regarding this program thank you very much